friends, welcome back to another video here on my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Sharon and I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe and like button. So today's video is my first nail haul of 2021. Yay! A new year. Hopefully this year is so far going a lot better for all of you out there. Um, I personally love nail hauls. They're my favorite to watch. You always get new ideas on new products. So I am excited to be featuring a bunch of new goodies I've collected over the last couple months. I've got um, stuff from Amazon and eBay. I've got lots from Creative Beauty, um, Egoista, Glitter Mix Canada, Glitter Boutique Canada. Um, I think that's everything. I might be missing somebody, but if you are interested in seeing all the fun goodies I have collected, then keep watching. Bye. All right. So we're starting off with Creata Beauty. Um, grab your guys self a drink because it's going to be a long one. So we are starting off. I picked up a new blinger tool from Ugly Duckling. Mine is the old school purple one that they first came out with and it's lasted me years, but I wanted a new clean one. So, and they don't have the purple anymore. So I had to get the silver. Then I wanted to try, I love trying new striping brushes since I love to hand draw on clients' nails. So I picked up this little striping brush from Light Elegance. It's called the Shorty. Can you see how stinking tiny that is? Look at that. You can, you can barely see the tip. It's so itty bitty. So I thought that might be a great option um, for me for certain nail art. I picked up a couple of the Light Elegance Cuticle Oil. I picked an, up another Clear Jelly Stamper. Um, it's the Circle or the Baby Bling. It's the Baby Bling. And then from Magic Gel, I picked up their Natural Peach Camouflage. I've actually used this a couple times now. Love, love this color. It is so nice. It applies beautifully. Such good coverage with it. And I think it would look really beautiful on multiple skin tones. And then I picked up their Milky White. And I have yet to use this, but I'm really excited to do Baby Boomers with it. And then Red Iguana. I, uh, Creative sent me over both of the um, clamps. So this is the long one. And then the short one is right here. I have it stuck to my lamp. I have a full review video on these. If you're curious uh, to know more information about these, I will link that video in the description bar below because um, I go full in detail over these clamps as well as the red iguana hands and fingers and the half hand. Then I picked up a couple of these um, as coffee scrubs. Rob from Creato was highly recommending these. So I actually bought a whole bunch. I bought like four packs, which each pack comes with four. And I gave them to my mom and a few of my best friends. And they, so far, everybody who has used them loves them. I actually have yet to use, I just picked up two, the two that I thought I might like the smell the best, which is peppermint and green apple. I'm really excited to smell this green apple one. But if you like body scrubs, like this, I don't know, I everyone who has said, said how much they love it. So I highly recommend checking these out for, and they're a reasonable price as well. And then I picked up another fusion cleanser. Um, so I like to use this just for the scent. Um, I mix half of this with half of the regular isopropyl alcohol. I can never say that word properly. Um, but I mix half half with just regular one and half with this one because I love the watermelon scent that this gives. So one of these jugs lasts me like a good month I would say because um, they're like massive jugs 
And then I picked up a few more of my preempt wipes. Um, so I love the preempt spray. Um, so what I do is I like to spray stuff down, let it soak for a few minutes, and then I go in with one of the preempt wipes and I wipe it off. Um, I know that sounds maybe a little excessive, but <laughs> I really like everything to be extra disinfected. And I have been using this around my house. I know these are so expensive, but I've been using them like Lysol wipes to like wipe my door handles down and everything like that. So I stock up on these when there is a good sale. Got a bunch more tips for my hand, my ready guana hand. Now, the big thing. I was sent a whole walk of colors, like tons and tons of colors um, from Light Elegance. I'm not gonna take them all out because it will be here forever. <laughs> These are all old colors that um, Creator just needed to get rid of because they're all colors that all they did was swatch them. So I asked them for certain colors. They sent them all and they sent a bunch more. So I have a whole box full of these. And what I think I might do is film um, a watch me swatch video because I actually haven't opened all of these. So I thought it'd be fun to do a watch me swatch. So it probably won't be up by the time this video is up, but keep watch for that because I think that would be a fun video to do if you were curious how older LE colors look. Yeah, I think that'd be really fun. Okay, I got a couple more things in from Creative Beauty. Um, starting off with this limited edition collection from Magic Gel. I will be posting a video on this right away here. So this will be up before for this nail haul video will so if you are wanting to see this I will link it in the description bar below I can't wait to dive into these these look beautiful as well as magic gel launched uh, launched their new spring gel polish collection which is their MLAC um, these colors hello especially this green I hope this is a true chartreuse green I can't wait to dive into this as well as that purple look stunning this purple look stunning I am so excited about this collection this might be my most excited collection for magic gel this far um, so once again I will post this video with these as well we'll do these both together so I'll link that video in the description bar below as well is uh, they sent over the new Valentine's collection from fusion I actually haven't even opened these up yet um, I don't know if they're sealed or not. Oh, nope. So this one is like a milky white with some iridescent hearts in it. It's pretty. I'm not sure how much use I'd get out of that color, but uh, if you like that milky white, definitely you'd pick that up. Oh, this one's pretty. This is like a true fuchsia pink glitter. It has a medium size uh, fuchsia glitter. And then it has a bigger chunky, I'd say a darker pink, like big chunky hexagons of a darker pink. Um, once again, it's pretty. I'm not I don't know. I don't know if I can picture any of my girls getting this. Um, we'll see. We'll see if, if I can get any use out of that color. Oh, also this little collection are the eight gram jars. So they're just the tiny ones, which I can appreciate that Fusion does that. Um, cause collections that are like specifically for, um, a season, or for a holiday they usually don't get as much use oh this one's called love bug that's a cute name what is this 
Okay, we got another glitter. This one's really pretty, actually. This is really unique. I don't think I have anything like this. Um, this is more, it is kind of like a fuchsia that we saw in the last one, but it almost leans more to a purple. And then it has like these large hexagons that are a silver. Yeah, that's a really cool color. Yeah, that's really, really cool. That would be a good one for uh, summer as well. And then let's see this last one. So I'm not going to do a full tutorial, tutorial video on this or swatch video. So that's why I'm just showing them to you right now. Ooh, that's a beautiful purple. Wow. This one looks like their afternoon siesta. Um, that was a staple. If you guys don't have that one, this one might be a substitute. I would say afternoon siesta is very, very similar to this, but this has more of a pearl to it. Whereas the other one, the afternoon siesta is a pearl, but not as much as this one. Let's pop that bubble. Wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Wow, I definitely love that one. What was that called? Flirty. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is all that I've received from Creative Beauty. Next is Glitter Boutique Canada. Um, Rhonda was kind enough to send me over a bunch of her new glitters and you guys, oh, I love them so much. Um, I do have a video down in the description bar below and I'll also link it up at the top corner. Uh, if you want to see these more in detail I'll just show you a few of my favorites here this one is pink soda how stunning this one is misty mint oh I can't wait to use that one this one is sugar in spice and this one I want to use on my nails next. How stinking cute are those hearts? I love them. So if you are interested in seeing all of these more in detail and I actually take them out and show you, then I'll link that video down below. All right, moving on into Glitter Mix Canada. I had placed a order and Suki was so nice to send me over some extra goodies that I could try out. Um, so first off, I do have a video up and I will link it in the description bar below if you wanna see everything in detail. But she sent over some of these stickers which are so fun. I'm obsessed with these flower ones. Um, these are stickers they are not water decals but I can't wait to give them a try we've got a little case here I'm excited to try these foils they look so weird and cool but I have no clue how they work so I really can't wait to try that couple glitters love these rhinestones they're pointed back and they're tiny and there's three different sizes in each color love these got some pointed um, swatch sticks love them and then we got some dun, 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 foils I love foils so we got some leopard animal print we got some floral more snake and animal print then we got some Valentine's ones I just gotta show you this how stinking cute are these love and then lastly she sent over her new bling tool. I love how pointed back this is and like how long this is. So nice. And then one last thing is an ombre brush. So if you do want to see all these items more in detail, then the link will be down in the description bar below. Okay, next we're moving into Canada Nail Supplies. I purchased a couple of brushes from this Moira brand. I was intrigued by their uh, striping brush. It looks super, super tiny. Holy, I uh, I love striping brushes because I, I love to hand draw. 
So I was excited to try this as well is one of my favorite things to do are 3D acrylic flowers and bows on nails. It's the only acrylic or only time I use acrylic. So I wanted to give this little tiny brush a try. I do have a couple of 3D acrylic brushes, but this one just seemed ultra tiny. So I was really excited to give this one a try. I can't wait to use it. And then I got four new templates from Clear Jelly Stamper from there. Um, the first one is this gorgeous Valentine's. I'm obsessed with this. Like, hello, leopard print, kisses, hearts, like, oh, yes, please. Love that template. Just so, so stinking cute. Um, yeah, this is really pretty. I love this template right here. These little flowers are super pretty. I love just the words down here. I feel like this could be a great template. And then this one, um, this one has some beautiful, uh, like, leopard. Look at that leopard in there. And, like, right here, these leopard with, like, flower and lacy. I just love that. Um, where's the names? Oh, here. Here's the name of this one, 191. What was that last one? Oh, uh, CJS V26. And then... Got this lacy template. Super fun. Like this will be really nice for like um, uh, fish, uh, or not fish, sea mermaid nails. Sea nails, mermaid nails. <laughs> fish nails oh my gosh um but yeah this is just really beautiful I feel so inspired when I look at this template it's just so so pretty so this one is 178 and then lastly is another kind of lacy template once again I feel like these will be great for like a mermaid or sea type of nails I really really love this one right here so that one was 177. Super pretty. Moving on into Egoista. This is a new company to me. I have yet to try out their products, but they are a Canadian company and I love supporting Canadian companies if I can. So I was sent over a bunch of their like main uh, base products so I can try like building it up on my nails. Um, they sent me like two of their gel polishes, which, well, it says gel color. I'm thinking these are gel polishes. So we've got like a white and black. I love testing white and blacks because that's what I actually use the most when I draw. Um, so we've got a super shiny coat. We've got a shimmery top coat. Let's open this together. Oh yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. <gasps> Do you see that? That is gorgeous. So it's like a silver ultra fine shimmer, but it has a little bit of iridescent shimmer to it as well. That is a stunning, stunning color. And then we got one of their brushes and I... I'm so sorry if you can hear my cats. They are, they've got the zoomies right now. <laughs> um, but this one is like a beautiful long medium. I'd say it's a medium size and it's super thin, super, super thin. I can't wait to give this brush a try. I love testing striping brushes. It's one of my favorite things because when I'm drawing, I need the best like brushes that are easy to maneuver when I'm drawing. So I'm excited for that. Then they sent over a couple of these things that say gel. Oh no, this one says platinum gel silver. This one says mirror gel paint. Let's give this, let's open this. I'm curious what it looks like. It does not have like a little lip anywhere, so I can't really, oh, maybe I can grab it. Whoa, holy, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> um, 
Oh, okay, I'm like speechless right now. Holy moly, that is like a mirror. Okay, no joke, it says mirror. Whoa, do you, it's, oh, <laughs> that is incredible. I, I know you can't s probably see it in the camera, but it is like reflecting off my lights. Like if I look straight on, so right now I'm looking at it, I can see my reflection. Can you see my camera? I'm trying to get it. No, it's not going to show the camera. This is crazy. I can't wait to do something with this. That that is nuts. Wow. Um <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, let's open this one. Platinum gold. Let's just see what this is about. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, wow. So it needs a good stir. Let's give this a bit of a stir here. You guys, look how beautiful that shade is. It's like a copper meets gold. I'd say it's more on the gold side than it is copper, but it does have some reflect of copper in there. That is stunning. And it is like a runny formula. So I would say this is very comparable to Beamy Beauty's, um, their leaf glitters. That is so beautiful. Whew, I'm impressed. Okay, I'm going to leave everything else to be open because I'm going to do a full separate video demoing these. So I want to leave something for surprise. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in this brand and learning more about it, keep watch for the video that I'm going to launch using these products. Moving on, I just got in a goodie box from Flux Nails. This is a Canadian brand that reached out to me and asked if I'd review a couple of their products. And I love supporting Canadian nail brands, so I thought, why not? So they sent over their Super Shine. So this is a top coat. Love the gold cap. I Top coats are one of my favorite favorite things to test out top coats and brushes those are my two favorite things that might be odd but they're my two favorite things to test out so it looks like we've got some gel polish or gel colors yeah uh so it says paints so these are probably really pigmented gel colors that you can paint with so we've got like a plum denim dust that's a fun name we've got a white oh this one says fuchsia girl <laughs> this one is lagoon we have a black 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 and white are such staples to have in every collection and then we got one that says raspberry so we got those and then they sent over this massive case that holds some of their brushes. So it's actually a foldable case. Don't know if you can see that in my camera here, but you can fold this over and stand them up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brushes. And we've got like some striping brushes, a little tiny pointed, a flat tapered brush. We've got an angled brush and couple gel brushes I'm thinking here so I haven't tested these out yet but let's pull one out they feel like a good weight in the hand they're not heavy yeah that feels nice so obviously new brushes need to be broken in but you could definitely use this color it's kind of a thicker brush 
on the side here. So this would be a perfect brush to apply clear gel with. I mean, I'm sure you could apply it with color gel, but I personally don't like using flat heads for color gel because it's hard to get around the cuticle nicely. But I think this, uh, uh, this gel brush would be great for just applying clear gel. Wonder if I can get this back in here. There we go. But yeah, so I actually really love this case. This is really nice. And just to stand it on your desk, so like if you wanna fill this whole thing up with brushes, or if you travel, if you like are a traveling nail tech, this would be really handy. Um, so I will link them in the description bar below. Go check this place out. I will have a full video up swatching so these new items that they sent over. So so keep watch for that. Next, I have a last minute order from Glitter Bells. I, when I filmed the intro, I did not have this stuff yet. <laughs> but look, I got six of their gel polishes. I am going to be doing a full swatch and review video on these. Um, I got five of their glitters. Let's just take a look at one. That is gorgeous. This is like a rose gold with a holographic. This is their medium glitter. Let's just confirm that. I'll flip that back over so we can actually read. Um, so yeah, this is their medium thickness glitter and it's called Glow. That's beautiful. So I got five different glitters. I can't wait to actually peek at all of them. I got this acrylic. I am not an acrylic nail tech, but uh, I love getting certain colors of acrylic because I like to do 3D flowers and 3D bows out of acrylic. So I don't have a hot pink and this one is perfect. I love how bright and fluorescent this one is. And then this was sent um, as well and it is their files. These look really nice, so I can't wait to try these out. And then the last thing I uh, chose was these nail tips. I usually only use forms, but I've had people ask me what I thought about nail tips as opposed to forms. And I don't have like true nail tips that are rounded like this, that, um, See how it's rounded, it like fits the nail properly. Um, I don't have any like this. So I wanted to try, oops, I just threw that in the wrong one. Um, I wanted to give these a try and see what I think. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for these. They feel like good quality. They don't feel cheap or anything. So, and I just got the pointed ones, the clear stilettos. So thank you so, so much, Sarah, for sending all these goodies over. I can't wait to do a full review video on all these items. Um, if I do have this video up before the nail haul, I will link it in my description bar below. Okay, Magic Gel sent me their new collection, which is eight solid reds. Well, one of them is a, like a glittery shimmer color. Um, I absolutely love this collection. These shades are so, so pretty. Red Reds are such a classic to use all year round, in my personal opinion. You have Valentine's, which red is a classic. Summertime, a lot of girls love that bright neon blue tone or orange tone red, especially just to do like solid red nails. Oh, I love that look. And then moving into fall time, you have those dark, deep reds or burgundies, and then you end off 
the year with uh, Christmas. So, and Christmas, red is such a staple to have. So I think this collection is so ideal for every nail tech to have because they will get all the reds they could possibly need to last you throughout the whole year. So I do have a full swatch uh, video on these colors. So I will link that in the description bar below. Okay, so moving on into eBay. I haven't purchased from eBay in forever. It's probably been two or three years, but Jen, um, Nails by Jen in Regina, I believe is her handle. I will link her down below. This is a she made me buy. Um, she showed these templates from this Nicole diary on one of her videos and I was like, I want those. <laughs> So I decided to go purchase a few. I've never tried this brand. Um, I'm not sure how good they work, but if Jen says they work, I'm going to trust her. So I bought a few of them. And then I got one of these 3D acrylic brushes. This is uh, super tiny and pointy. I really love that. The only time I use acrylic is to make 3D flowers. And I have a bunch of expensive um, 3D brushes like this, but I just wanted to test out if a cheap one works the same as an expensive one because I actually go through those pretty fast. I'm not very good at keeping them nice and uh, pointy. <laughs> they start to flare out quite quickly on me. Then I got this little guy. I thought it was so stinking cute. How adorable is that? It's like a little clear foggy um, brush holder. I love it. It has like these little gold flakes. I thought it was so pretty. And yeah, it's just really nice. The other thing I like to use it for is when I'm doing my swatches of colors, I needed something that will hold my finger, like the red iguana finger, um, in the light. And cause it like moves around. I can't, I, I hate holding it there in the light to cure the color. So I just stick this inside my lamps and then I just set the finger down on it and it actually stays in place. So I really like this little guy and I think you costed like a dollar fifty Canadian so really good deal and then I got these they were like crystal pixies but bubbles and I just thought they were super cool I haven't even actually opened them yet so let's open one on camera here I got two different sizes these are the really tiny ones and these are the bigger ones they have a bunch oops it's like filled right up to the top those look so cool. Um, I had an idea of using these for uh, mermaid nails, like ocean nails in summertime. I think it would look so cool because they've kind of got that um, iridescence to them. I don't want to like spill the jar. It's like literally up to the to the cap here. But it looks it actually looks really, really cool. So I got the smaller ones and these bigger ones so I can make like a cool look and make it look like bubbles um, in the ocean. At least that's my idea. Who knows if it'll actually turn out the way I envisioned. But yeah, that's everything I ordered from eBay. Lastly, we're moving on into Amazon. I leave a couple things off Amazon, but I think they're great finds. So the first thing I got are these little um, diamonds. These are not Swarovski crystals. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I purchased these, it came in a set of three, which I thought was really reasonably priced. I think I paid $17 for all of these. So there's some standard like AB crystals. Then there's the, um, or not AB. These are just the standard clear crystals. These are the AB ones. And then it had these fun shaped ones that are the AB. The reason I wanted to purchase these was when I'm working on my fake hand and doing nail demos, 
I don't want to use my real crystals anymore because Swarovski has announced that they are no longer making nail crystals. So I don't want to waste them on my fake hand for nails that I'm just going to throw out after. So I thought this would be a really good substitute to at least just show you guys like how to apply the crystals. Yeah, they're not as good quality, but I mean, my hand isn't going anywhere. <laughs> so uh, I don't think she will care. Um, but yeah, I thought for 17 bucks, like this is pretty good deal. Um, and then the next thing, I actually have to take you off so that I can show you the whole thing. So I got these massive papers. Do you see how big this is? It is massive. Um, I was looking for something bigger than just those standard 12 by 12 sheets. So I ended up finding these and they're double sided and there's a bunch of different styles. So it comes in a pack of like these three. I'll show you this last one here. So there's that. And then it has like that on the back side. So you can get a bunch of different ones on Amazon. I really wanted this set because I loved this pink marble. I thought it was so, so pretty. And I really liked this marble on the back. And I liked the wood grain on that one. Um, so yeah, I just thought... Maybe this would be a good option so I don't have to zoom in as much on certain stuff because I don't want you guys to see a different border. But if you do YouTube videos or anything like this where you want like a nice matte paper behind you, um, I really think this is a great find. I really love it and it feels so nice. Like it actually feels like really good quality. So I'm quite impressed. So that's it for this nail haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!